Good morning, everyone out there. How are we doing today? I hope everyone's staying safe, being healthy. We are headed to Waco, Texas today, where we are going to go to the Dr. Pepper Museum. We are in search of one of our favorite drinks, which is Dr. Diet Dr. Pepper Cream Soda, which you can't find anywhere, along with Sprite Zero. It's a pretty, pretty good scandal going on around here. So we're actually going to go up there. We're going to see the museum, and then we're going to make our own soft drink today. So very excited about that. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, again, we got to get out of here. Uh, it's actually, we're actually meeting at 1130, so it's, it's pretty early. So we got to get up, get out of here, maybe stop and get a little bit of breakfast on the way in. Let's go. And here is your starter pack for the 2020 season. You got to make sure that when you leave the house, you have your mask, some stay magical hand sanitizer, and then I even have hand sanitizer on my keychain, my little Mickey holder. And I think I mentioned this in our last video. We have a Disney trip booked for the very end of September. It's only two days. And we have a countdown going here. 76 days to go. And then Tina's mom got us a little Mickey in a glass. We have made it to the Dr. Pepper plant and museum. I have a, some kind of market over there, like a Mary Avenue market. You might check that out. This is a little public parking area here. We parked right across the street. It's like that was the home of Dr. Pepper right there, that building. And then right across the street is the museum. Come on in. Mask are required. It says on the door there in there appreciate it you're the door holder today <laughs> and we a go so it's the cost is ten dollars for adults eight for seniors kids are only six military no, five eight the old dr pepper bottling truck it's kind of cool five cents Dr. Pepper for good life. We're heading to the liquid lab to make our own soft drinks. We have that at 1130. So before we can walk through the museum, we gotta come over here to the liquid lab. So we can do, oh, so mix in three of these different flavors here? You don't have, it, one to three. Oh, one to three, okay, gotcha. I definitely like the dark chocolate. Who doesn't? Hazelnuts. Vanilla, lime, and cucumber is something I've seen very people do. Ooh, cool. If you just really want to do something kind of gross, chocolate and cucumber has been done before. Do um, hazelnut, vanilla, and rose. Oh, you just got dark. <laughs> that chocolate, huh? Mm -hmm. That's cool looking. Add it flavor. It's overpowered. That's the special way she told us to do it. So Tim's got the rose in there. Hers is light. Hers doesn't even look like a, looks like Crystal Pepsi. Try it. Oh, yum. Good? Yeah, it's good. What is, so you, you taste the, dark, the chocolate in it? I don't have chocolate mine. I was talking to Gabby. Oh, yeah, you taste chocolate in it. It's good. What is yours? What is yours? Mine, I can taste the vanilla in it and I can smell the rose. Just good, dummy? Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. oh yeah. It's like a tootsie That's roll. That's good. Let me, let me try that. <laughs> it tastes like nothing. It tastes like a tootsie roll. Oh. <laughs> you mean it's good? The mango? Yeah, it hers tastes like mine. That does taste like a tootsie roll. Hers tastes like Gabby's a tootsie roll. So here's my little, right. my little soda. Yeah, that's true. It says make a soda, and it was made by me. Thank you. Yeah. On 7 Eleven. How many of these are you doing today? And it has the ingredients on it. Look how awesome that is. Yeah. And it tastes good. 
and there is the there is the aim end product all shrink wrapped one bottle is 150 calories but look how cute that is this is a replica of the old corner drugstore where dr pepper started you can see they have um gentleman here he's actually animated but he's not animated now because of uh the covid they don't want people touching him and whatnot but look how cool this is this is a replica of the store now we're stepping into the bottling company the the actual bottling room oh look at the phone which is kind of cool awesome. oh the old school flip phone look you can jerk it hot I never saw Dr. Pepper hot before. That was how they used to say to the servant it was hot. Huh. Did not know that. Hot or cold there. Oh, look at the old school can. The old tabs. Look at that one. You actually had to, to use a can opener to crack it open. Here's the old bodily machinery. How cool that is. All the components of it. Guess all the bottles went in there. Look at all the bottles. They even have a Pepsi Cola bottle in there. Seven Up bottle. There's more of the pop the pop top cans over there. These bottles. Look at sugar free, caffeine free, Dr. Pepper. Pepper free. I don't even remember some of these drinks. I don't remember them having a blue can either. Mom says she remembered the little um, pop, the, the little weird The hammer. tabs, yeah, I remember yeah. this. And everyone was just choking on them so they put them in there. It's like a legit well. Oh, in wow. Here. I don't want to lose my glasses down yeah, there. Yeah, don't do that. So this well goes way down. She says, hello. So this is the, the well that we're looking at there. No soft drink plant can exist without a water supply. Water is used for washing bottles, production of syrup, production of carbonated water, emergency use for file control. Soft drinks are 86% to 93% water. Huh. So this is actually was the working well. It'd be awesome if like the Kraken came up and got us. I know. Health, energy, and fun in one. I don't know if anyone would call soft drinks healthy nowadays. But I do like the commercial. It's a five cent refill. Diet Lemon Lime 7-Up. Look at More 7-Up. I don't even remember some of these drinks. 7-Up Gold, Diet Gold. Did you have this drink right here? Or this is called? I did not have Nalos. I don't remember what that one is. And then the seven up upside down, turn your twist upside down. Looks like they flipped the label upside down. And then there's Pepsi Blue, which I don't even remember this one either. Pepsi Blue is designed to attract teenagers with its trademark vibrant blue color. It was only sold for two years before being discontinued. Delish. Here's your Pepsi AM. But you know, these are just got, they're just jacked up with caffeine. Yeah. Jolt. Ew. Oh my god, I totally don't know how to go. Justa. Coca-Cola Black. There's Hubba Bubba. I remember them. It just was just like bubble gum. It tastes like liquid butter gum. Carbonated bubble gum, yep. And then there's OK. OK was an attempt by Coca-Cola to anti corporate and used Unusual advertising tactics, including neo nair design, chain letters, and negative publicity. The manifesto of the soda, what's the point, okay? Well, what's the point of anything? By 1995, the soda was off the market. Very interesting. They have a bunch of recipes that have Dr. Pepper in them. And we might actually try that one. That one right there, the bean dip a la Dr. Pepper, actually looks kind of good. <laughs> Sounds so gross. When it every, doesn't sound gross. Every it sounds ingredient delicious. ingredient is Worcestershire's. Yeah, that's what Worcestershire. they use. Worcestershire. That's what they used back in the day. That's what tastes good? That, we're going to make that at some point. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. This is like a little, uh, this is like a little gas station. Back in the olden days, Wilton's Landing. You see, you can get your Dr. Pepper and your fruits back there. There's your sodas. They got Royal Crown, there's RC, 
7 Up. And then there's your oils. Look how cute this is. This is a little area where you can take pictures for Instagram. They have a whole room. Just favorite commercials. It's different. I like it. Via Pepper. I remember that one with Popeye. This is where you take a picture as the CEO of Dr. Pepper. For some reason, we have two CEOs. <laughs> Very interesting. Thank you, CEO. They have a little conference center room here. It looks like they're putting on shows. Then they have all the different soda bending machines, fronts, his legacy, be a pepper, the friendly pepper upper. It's really cool. All right, now we're gonna head into the, the gift shop here and see what goodies they have. You know this is gonna be good. Look at that. Look at the cotton candy. Dr. Pepper cotton candy. And Hawaiian punch cotton candy. Yahoo shirts. I like the Hawaiian punch shirt. $32. Woo! It's pretty pretty steep. Hawaiian punch, look how cute that is. $32 also. 7 up. Old school 7 up. It's like $32 is the going rate for these. More Dr. Pepper. What's this guy? Yahoo. Dr. Pepper. We have gotten really packed in here now. Everybody wanting their soft drinks and their and their uh, ice creams. We're gonna walk through here and then we're gonna get our drinks. My Baylor Bears. They got Big Bear Cola. Big Bear Cola sugar free. Was Seven Up Bottling Company at Waco's own soft drink. It was made to reflect the area's allegiance to other collegiate football teams. How cool is that? And this is a replica of the this is a replica of the Seven Up machine bottling machine. So the bottles come through. They get their goodies in them. And they head out over there. All placed into their carts. Here's all the replicas of the vehicles used by the Dr. Pepper Bottling Company. I don't think that's a replica there. I do like I do like that train though. Car in a bottle. Look at that. That's interesting. Remember back in the '80s that they would put stuff in cans? Yeah, I know. Yes. I never won anything. Dr. It was like money when we were at our age. Dr. Pepper skateboard there. I remember Spock. And we would just peel off he was, and he was part of my childhood. Oh, He's on all the television commercials. It should bring Spock back. When you purchase a museum ticket, you get a free complimentary 10 ounce soft drink. I'm going with the old doc, Diet Dr. Pepper, the usual. So you can get a, a root beer float and they have all the, the Blue Bell ice creams. So they'll take a dollar off of your root beer float with your paid admission. Chuck your cookie dough, cherry vanilla, Dutch chocolate, homemade vanilla. Is, this gentleman is hand tapping our sodas. How cool is that? Let's see if these have a different taste than what you get out of the bottle or the can. Taste this uh, hand tapped soda. Much lighter taste, uh, nowhere near sweet, uh, but good. And carbonation is a lot softer too. So, 
but good though i like it i like it it's different we're actually going to wait in line to try to get into the silos baking company this is actually one of the shorter lines you've actually seen in the uh, in the past it only wraps around the building usually it goes way back that way you can see some of their yummies here the milo cookie no the classic just like a cupcake another cupcake it's like a chocolate one yum it's nuts and bolts they're fancy looking and they got the classic sh sugar cookie they're big cookies the classic chocolate chip and then they got your, your cinnamon rolls your nutty cinnamon roll there chocolate croissant that's their menu up there on top magnolia has their own water bottled water and if you're next to the the dr pepper bottling company you better have some dr pepper in here so there you have it y'all we actually got into the the silos today at the, the silos bakery today which is kind of cool we have never been able to get in there before um and you just get that qr code you get in there you order and you get out real quick uh but we're gonna head back to austin now uh, we got we got all the uh we got some cupcakes for tina's mom's we got some uh some goodies for uh, some of our family friends so we're gonna be going uh, heading back to austin uh, we actually want to get back a little bit early because we're actually gonna look at a car for gabby uh, she's she might be making her big first purchase since she's got her new big job so uh, we're gonna head back to austin uh let's go Alrighty, so a little update here for you. Gabby was able to get her very first vehicle. It's a Honda Civic, as you can see here. It's a silver one. It's leather inside. It's incredibly nice. And as you can see from the picture, she's incredibly proud of her purchase. Uh, we couldn't be more excited for her. We love her. We're happy that she's happy. Uh, we had a great day today at Dr. Pepper plant, uh, tasting Dr. Pepper and making sodas and walking around at the uh, bakery in Waco. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, live problem free.